What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you have been following along with my videos, then you may know why I am at my parents' house grabbing this trailer. But if not, we had a plow on one of our trucks that got damaged and uh, about a week ago or so, I dropped it off at this guy that was taking the damaged pieces off of it and remaking them and basically just fixing everything on the plow for us. So I am throwing this trailer on my truck and I am gonna go pick up this plow and then go get it mounted. So let me get this trailer connected and then I will catch back up with you guys when I have the plow. All right guys, so I got the plow back on the trailer. I'll show you a little bit of what he did. So the main reason we brought it to him is because this whole section here, as you can see, it's new was completely mangled. I will throw a little clip of what it used to look like if you guys didn't see that video. This is the situation we're dealing with here. Really, we should have no more issues with this. So I am gonna head to our other shop and meet up with Rodrigo and get this thing mounted. So I will see you guys there. All right, so just made it up here. Rodrigo's already here, he's got the loader ready. We are gonna get this thing unstrapped and mounted on this truck here. He already pulled the other plow that we put on as a spare, pulled that off. So we'll get that mounted and then we're gonna throw this plow that also broke. There's uh, two pins here that hold that together. So we're gonna throw that on the trailer and bring that down to our shop so we can fix it down there. But let me set up a little time lapse and then I'll catch back up with you guys after this. Alright guys, so got this plow loaded up, strapped down, ready to head back to our shop. We got the other plow back on that truck and we got the spare thrown back in our yard here. So if they have an issue with that plow, they'll be able to just grab this one and throw it on. But I'm pretty sure they won't have any issue. But it is snowing a little bit here. Hopefully it slows down a bit. They're saying today is the slow day and then tomorrow we're really gonna have snow so us snow guys have to be in at midnight tonight so we're gonna go home around lunchtime today but let me head down to our shop and see what we got to do there all right guys so made it back down to my shop here got this plow here we're about to grab our forklift and get this unloaded we will probably just put it to the side for now um, it really depends on what my father wants us working on today because he did say he wants us getting out of here early. It's already 11 o'clock. He said lunchtime, so we'll see. But let me, uh, let me get this unstrapped and hop in this forklift and get this thing unloaded. Alright guys, so we got the plow unloaded, we put the frame over here, and we put the actual plow right here for now. So, 
I parked my truck back outside, but we just got summoned up into my father's office. So he's got something to tell us or something he wants us to do. Not really sure, but I'm going to run up there, talk to him, and then I will catch back up with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So he just wanted to go over all of the plans for the rest of today and then oh, fuel level low. I'm going to get some gas, but he just wanted to go over the plans for the rest of the day and then talk about our game plan for the storm that's coming tonight and tomorrow. But I have a couple things here. I have a return going to Smith Metalworks. They do a bunch of plow stuff or sander stuff, I should say. Um, so I think this is a, a old control that is not working correctly. So we're sending it back to them. But I'm going to go drop this stuff off. I also have to take one of our pickup trucks to the gas station, but let me go drop all this stuff off and then we will get back to this last minute prep for this snowstorm. All right guys, so I am pulling up to this truck here. We keep a couple trucks in the circle here because there's just not enough parking right in front of our building. But Rodrigo has it running for me already. So I just need to take this to the gas station and fill it up that way when everybody comes in in the morning. Well, it's really the middle of the night because we're starting at we're starting at midnight tonight. So once everybody comes in, they don't have to go get gas or anything. Um, and we can just go right out to our routes. But it looks like you saw my last video, you probably saw this check engine light. Looks like it came back. So, I mean, it is what it is. Eventually we'll have to get that fixed, but it's not, definitely not the end of the world now that we know what the light is for. So I am gonna fill this up and then basically just make sure that all of our other trucks are good to go. So we don't have to deal with any of the little stuff in the morning. So let me, uh, let me get to the gas station. I'll catch back up with you guys. All right, so I just finished. We have a full tank of gas and it was $126.61 for about 30 and a half gallons. Kind of crazy. Gas prices here in New York are through the roof right now. I'm sure they are pretty much across the country, but obviously some states have it better than here. But let me know how much it costs for a gallon of regular where you guys live, if you're not from New York. All right, guys, so I made it back here to our shop. I got our truck parked here all locked up and ready to go for the storm tonight. I am gonna hop in here. I'm gonna go up to where all of our trucks are parked. Well, most of our trucks besides the couple that we have down here. And Rodrigo should have taken care of it. I'm assuming he did, but I just wanna double check. I'm gonna make sure all of our block heaters are plugged in. That way when it is freezing cold, the trucks will have no issue starting. Let's go take a look and make sure. So over here on the side of our building, we have, yeah, see, extension cord ran. We have all these outlets here, which inside we have a breaker basically that turns this on and off. So there's not power out here all the time, only when we need it. But we have extension cords ran to all the trucks that have block heaters on them. And they just get plugged in just like that. And really all it does is it helps the truck start up when it is freezing cold out. So that 
is pretty much it for today. I'm about to head home. I have to drop this trailer off at my father's house again. And then I have to be back in here uh, midnight tonight. So most likely not gonna sleep because I live an hour away from here. So that means I need to leave my house at 11 p.m. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a little nap in at like nine or so but most likely that's not gonna happen. So it's gonna suck, but a lot of the time we get down here and the snow is not really doing anything so we can kind of just kick back in our trucks and relax. So I might be able to take a nap in my truck at some point, but who knows? Either way, that will probably be another video. So that'll be the one after this. Um, I'm a little behind on videos right now, but I am gonna go home and edit a few and I'm gonna start putting out a couple videos a week I might even get into daily vlogging and just editing them all as soon as I get home and uploading them but I'm not really sure we're gonna see what happens with that so I hope you guys enjoyed it I will see you guys in the morning in the next video but I am gonna get out of here if you have any questions about any of our trucks or anything definitely leave a comment down below but either way, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.